I need my to-do list, I need my calendars, I need all of that to make sure that I stay on track. Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is AC Kokui. Aquaba, Aquaba, Aquaba. Look at me trying to make my own theme song. No, just Aquaba, y'all. If y'all don't know what that means, it means welcome, entry. I'm Ganyan. That's where it's from. That's how you say it. Welcome, Aquaba. Okay, moving on. So thank you for watching my channel. I have a new video for you guys and it's a little bit of tips on what to do, how to stay organized in 2019, what I do. And um, yeah, I just wanted to give a couple of tips on how I stay organized because I need my to-do list, I need my calendars, I need all of that to make sure that I stay on track. So. Before we move forward, you know what I'm about to say. Hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the red button. Subscribe. Just do it. I know you want more videos. I know you want to see me on your computer screens. I know. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video if you like it. Um... So what I usually do to stay organized is I have my calendar. I need my calendar with me 24-7. It goes with me in my backpack, in my purse, wherever I'm going. I need my calendar. Um, I bought a new calendar yesterday for 2019. I usually buy it like a week early or two weeks to just get everything set, but I was behind this year. But I just got my calendar. I'm so excited. I really don't want it to get dirty, but I really like this white pink. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take that off soon. But this is my 2019 calendar. I got it from Target. Um, it's the Day Designer Planner. And when I open it up, it, you know, it says... Ask me what's my personal information, just in case someone finds it, I lose it. I am very forgetful, so hopefully if I do, hopefully I don't lose it, but if I do, someone can find me. And then it tells you the story of how they thought of the calendar, the person, Whitney English, thought of how to make this calendar. And um, then, oh, I don't want you guys to see what I wrote, but basically, <laughs> the first face that the first page says start with the big picture and then you write the big picture of how you want your 2019 to go and then number two is set your goals and then it goes personal goals family friends and relationship goals heart and spirit goals financial goals work and career and study goals and then you just write it in what your goals are and then on the side it says accomplish by so when you want to accomplish those things I haven't done this, so I'll show you this page. But it's design your days, and then you do your design your morning routine, your evening routines, your staying on course on different events and things like that. And then here's the calendar. Um, this one starts from October 2018, so just in case someone got it like a couple months before, they can start planning from there. Um, and then inside. It says my top three so I feel like with that because it doesn't say my top three anything um, you can theme it however you want so it could be my top three motivations for the week my top three things to get done my top three um, words for the week or something like that you know so then you can put that right here it's at the top of every week and then you can write your to-do list for every day. It's right there. And then it gives you a little space as well. I don't know if you can see all of this. But it gives you your space as well to just like write things down um, that you just maybe need to remember or for the day. And then it does that for every month. And so, and then there's notes in the back just in case I need to write things down. 
so that's my calendar. I need to have my calendar with me all the time just so I can make sure that I'm on track with everything. And then I have another calendar. This one's much thinner and not as cool. Um, <laughs> but it's this is what I use to keep on track with my um, social media stuff and my posting schedule. So this is basically like my social media calendar. Um, I wrote things down that I need to be aware of and when I want to record things, um, when I want to post things, and I'm going to continue adding to it, of course. So this is just a calendar to do that. So if you are an influencer or doing something in that realm, I used to put it all in one calendar, but then it just looks so messy to me. And I'm like, I put a lot of like my ideas and stuff on a page that kind of needs to be personal to me. So that's why I got another calendar that's, you know, it does the trick. It's not as nice, but it does the trick. And so I would get two calendars if, if you want. If you can put both things in one calendar, then go ahead. But I like to put my social media stuff on one calendar, my personal life in another calendar. Then, moving on, I have this that I got yesterday as well. It's the thoughtful journal. So I'm really I used to have a gratitude journal. It started off that way, but then I just started adding like different things, to-do lists got put in there, and it just was not my gratitude journal anymore. But this and this is kind of like a gratitude journal. So you write let me for first examples. But it starts off with your monthly overview. So then you write, how did last month go? What are you looking forward to this month? Plan something special to do this month. Um, so that's where you write something. Because you should do something special for yourself every month. And then they ask, what's one beautiful thing about the place you live? I think they ask you a different question every month. So just things to like remind yourself and be grateful for. Um, is really important because we, we lose ourselves in this humble, bumble life that we're living. And it's good to just stop and remember the things that we're grateful for. And so that's what it does on that page. With something that you knew that you would like to try. Um, it gives you a quote at the top for every month. Or, yeah, I think for every month it gives you a new quote. And then habit tracker. So, like... If I wanted to start exercising every day, how many days did I do that for? It keeps track of that, which is really good because I need something to keep accountability, to keep me on track and give me some accountability. And then it goes week by week. So then you write the week of whatever, this week I want to do what, and then what you want to focus on in your ten intentions and aspirations, what your weekly high was, what your weekly low was. Um, something I did or want to do for someone else, what you're grateful for, and then rate the week. And then I think by doing this, you get to just monitor how your weeks went and then try to make the week better. If it was a trash week, you get to make it better um, than the last week. So your rating, like maybe it was a 6.5. The next week, try to aim for a 7, you know? So I really like that it does that, and I'm excited to use this. So, um, on top of all these things, I don't have my other journals out and ready, no. But I think it's also important to, if you are a social media influencer, like how I am becoming, um, I want to have one just so I can monitor my analytics. So just so I can see how I grew in each month with social media followers, um, with subscribers and all of that, I think it's important to kind of keep track and just monitor what worked that month, what didn't work that month, you know, and then keep growing from there. So I have an analytics journal that I will be using to just tra keep track of those things. Um, and then I want to have a little notebook. <laughs> 
I'm trying to be organized, y'all. And then a little notebook just for like when ideas pop in my head or something that I need to remember. I have my little notebook. So it's going to be a little small like, yeah, it, it's not going to be something like that. Um, but just a small little notebook. So if something pops into my head, I have it, write it down, and that. So these are the things that are going to follow me everywhere, everywhere, um, just so I can keep track of what's going on in my life and I could feel a little bit more organized because Lord knows I cannot be my room is always a mess but anyway so those are kind of the things that help me get organized or that's going to help me get organized this year tell me what your tips are if you have any tell me what your tips are the things that you do to keep on track of everything and so yeah, that's really all I have for today. Um, make sure that you guys subscribe. I don't know why I'm doing Hercules, Hercules. Um, make sure you subscribe, hit that red button, and <laughs> a British accent almost came out. Hit that red button, hit that red button. Like my, I'm a woman of many, many traits. Anyway, um, subscribe <laughs> like comment and share tell me what videos you want to see me doing tell me videos that you want to see me do so make sure you hit that like and that comment button and actually comment and subscribe thank you for watching you guys i'll see you later au revoir bye